Hi, this is Perry from Mesa Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to use anchor text on the bridge theme to get a smooth scroll um, navigation on your page. So the example uh, website that we have here, you can see I'm scrolling my cursor, but if I want to say go straight to features, it has this nice scroll, smooth scrolling feature to the key product features section of the website. So I haven't set it up for these other ones. And out of the box, most of the bridge demos actually don't come with this feature ready to go. So we're gonna show you how to do that. Also, we're gonna help um, show you how you can apply it to just any kind of button. And to the store takes us to this pricing feature. Uh, with our screen share, it's a little bit choppy, but you can get the idea it's pretty smooth on a normal computer. So the first thing we wanna do, we're gonna go into the menus and how to do this. So this can take them up, down, depending on where that section is. And this um, demo site does a good job. Most of the bridge themes keep a good padding in that row too, that's nice. But first thing you wanna do is go into your WordPress website backend, head to appearances, and then your menus. And then inside the menu, make sure you have the correct menu. This one, there's only one, our main menu. But up here, if you have multiple menus, select the top header navigation menu, um, not your footer one, that's often one in bridge theme. So now that you're in main menu, you'll see that we have these four examples for this one page website. And under reviews, if I click on that and there's nothing here for the anchor box, but we've already gone into features and edited, um, edited the anchor text to be features. And that, um, so this is where you put the anchor text first when, now let me show you what, what that does. When you put that in and you click on features up here in the um, address bar, you can see the hashtag features comes at the uh, after the trailing slash in the URL, takes you straight to this section. So that's what's gonna happen for each of these, but you don't need that hashtag here in the anchor section. So now that you have that saved, let's just show you how that works here with reviews. Do not put the hashtag in there. From my experience, it actually doesn't work. If you do it, the hashtag in there, I know it's a little confusing, but just put um, the lowercase reviews and then save it. We're gonna go into the home page, and before refreshing, I'm just gonna get rid of this extra hashtag feature so we go to the top of the home page. And now that this is loaded, I have features. If you see in the bottom left, it shows that down, down here, it's gonna show you where you wanna go. Reviews now has hashtag reviews, and it goes to the customer reviews. So there's another part of this. This is, if you're saying this isn't working, the other part is that you need to make sure inside the page you have the um, word reviews or features in the row you want to go to. So let's go find the key uh, features. So here's key product features, and this is the row that it's actually scrolling to. You click the pencil icon for editing this row, and then inside the row settings there is a place for anchor ID. And this is, you just add features in here again with that hashtag. I believe in this case, you probably actually worked with it, but just keep it out for now. Put, um, actually I think it, I, no, no, you're, this one's right. You have to have it without the hashtag. So you put it in there, save the, the text there, make sure it matches your menu, update, and then you'll be good to go. And the same idea for customer reviews, I'll just show you that real fast. So there's testimonials, I just passed over it. Hit the row settings, there it is, reviews. Okay, if you have review, it won't work. It has to be the same, reviews. So now the other example we had was the button. So we had a to the store button on this page that we just kind of threw in there. And you hit the edit pencil for the button and there is a place in the button for a link and we just did the hashtag pricing. So um, you can see whenever I go to that button, it's gonna take me down to the small pricing section of this, this uh, page. So to the store, there it is. Again, um, the last thing I just want to note is that all this scrolling is working really well because the rows have pretty good uh, padding. So here's the key product features. If I hit pencil, and you just if you custom make this in yours, it's not part of the, the themes, you're, you're making your own row, make sure to go into design options and add some padding. This is a lot. Usually I find about 60s um, required for that padding on the top for it to scroll well and, and not be covered by your top menu just depending on how tall you have that etc so hopefully this video is helpful for you in understanding more about anchor text and one page scrolling navigation and if you like this video uh, please come back and visit us for more thanks so much for watching